Okay, so let's talk about a very, very heavy hitting topic that people need to understand. Circumstances for people are very different when you read and have been reading as long as I have, but also have the life experiences. So you now have somebody spiritually gifted who also has life experience, understand something. But how I handle situations has always been the key. So some of you coming in three years, uh, two and three years as I blog, you try to put me in certain categories now. This is where I school people. When I say I know about the legal system, not because I was in and out of the legal system, because I was having to deal with the ugly divorce, right? That I didn't let, let get ugly. So the one thing about it is this is why when you have to look at circumstances of a situation, you have to stay grounded. This is a court going to look at a woman and say, she's not on drugs. She's uh, not been in and out of jail. She has no background. She worked in IT. Understand that is the difference in a lot of situations. Some people are not dealing with something that's simple. Had we gone to court, I would have molly whopped them and they know it. He would not have gotten custody, but they had to pull a legal maneuver to get whatever happened. That's just real talk. We know this already. That's in the past. What's not in the past is the continuous manipulation that happens all the time. So you have to understand the difference with some people when they're dealing with baby daddies or baby mamas that have backgrounds or have drug addictions and that sort of thing. This is not the same situation, but notice what I don't do is judge too much in regards to that. Why? Because I was in foster care and I actually in one situation was going to volunteer to work with one of the mothers that I had her children in care. I didn't know that was something that you couldn't do legally, but I was, I was really like, I'd like to work with her to get her prepared to have her own kids back. So that's always been something that I kind of had a, you know, a passion for on some level, but you have to stay grounded in some scenarios when you mis make decisions. Like I don't want this person in and out of my child's life if they're not going to be consistent or however you want to say it. What's the circumstances behind it? Now, if it's somebody that's been in jail a few times, I could see. Now, if it's something where somebody's been manipulative and purposely playing with visitation, then y'all know who I'm talking about because you have some folks that know they do that kind of stuff. These are the kind of also um, the things that I like to talk to single mothers about is really being self-aware to say, hey, are you playing the games because you still want to be with him? Is that really the issue? Because if that's the issue, that's not good, okay? Or do you like to feel self-righteous and that you're the one having to do A, B, C, and D? So you, you conjure up these scenarios in your head, understand the different circumstances. So when I talk about second X and I'm just like, whatever, that's a scenario where there was playing with the visitations. That's what the judge peeped when he's looking at them going, oh, okay. So it sounds like you guys are always looking for it. Yeah. Now we leave that there because the purpose of this, again, is the educational aspect of looking at the different situations. If you really feel like that other parent is not good to have in your child's life because of behaviors, that's one thing. If it's because you really want to be with them or you like making yourself feel like you're self-righteous because of whatever, that is completely different. So stay grounded when you assess stuff because no, when kids start hitting 18 and conversations start happening between them and their parents when they're grown and can process stuff, all the manipulation will come out. And I'm telling you, because you, uh, many people know what I'm talking about. And when they hit that 18 and they're starting to look at, even if they were living with the parent and they go, oh, so that's what happened. Yeah, they start really being able to discern stuff for themselves. Take care.